I'm being blinded by the sun. But renovation week two is underway. Jess and I are at the house, it's Tuesday. I have a swollen face because I've just been to the dentist but the builders are here and I thought I would just show you what's been going on so far. There are lots of holes on the floor, as you can see. They're doing the pipes for the new boiler. Look at how much this space has opened up once the sink, all the units, the boiler has all gone. And there's stuff on here too. This house literally is a building site at this point. This is the living room. This is the partition wall which hasn't gone up yet. The builders are outside working on the garage so I'm not going to go out there to show you what's going on. I'm going to attempt <laughs> to walk through the house like so. Look at this. Whoa. Oh my god, you can literally see right up into the bedroom, the curtains are shut. That means that was the airing cupboard that's coming out. <laughs> so funny. You probably can't pick it up on camera, actually. But you can see it. That's the bedroom window. I'm upstairs now and I have to be really careful where I stand because I didn't realise I'd already started work upstairs. God, my mouth feels so numb after the dentist. I've just had a filling done. So I'm like, like a chipmunk on one side. <laughs> but let me just show you. I can't believe it's Tuesday and literally two days ago, Jess and I were at the house and this room just looks so different. We were stripping wallpaper in here and now half the walls are gone. So this was our airing cupboard <laughs> and that is actually down in the kitchen where I was just looking up a second ago. In fact, let me try and show you. <laughs> you can probably see it a lot better now, but that hole goes all the way down to our kitchen, which is crazy. And oh, I'm still trying to sell these bloody units, but nobody wants to buy them. And I feel really bad sending them to landfill because they are in excellent condition. They're pretty much brand new and they look really good. But here we go. This was the old water tank thing in the airing cupboard and all the bits we need to come back and finish off these little bits of wallpaper at some point this weekend hopefully and there's loads around that window too and then builders are working away outside as you can see and this is our mouldy flat roof which is going to be changed and hopefully have a beautiful large skylight window fitted I've just noticed that they've gone up into the loft as well. Very scary place, which I don't think I will ever be going up into. But they are, I think they're installing light bulb or electricity up there for us, which will be really good. Actually, one thing I'm going to ask the builder to do towards the end of this project is to install a loft ladder, because I've seen that they're only about 50 to 100 quid. I don't really know which one to buy, obviously, but I think it's really handy to have because our step ladders that we just have are not high enough to go all the way up um, into the loft. We've been using the builder's ladder when just wanted to go up and have a look. Um, I think that's just a really useful thing to have for just like 50 or 100 quid um more but there's loads of holes in the floor upstairs as well which is why he told us not to come to the house last night because it would be quite dangerous because also the electricity doesn't work either does it mm. oh it does upstairs it does let's see it is on but you just can't see okay. what are you doing Charles? I'm looking at the doors this is 75.5 we really like these doors, they're the 1930s four panelled doors, so we want to keep them but they're not in the best condition. They're obviously super old and they've been repainted about 8 million times, etc, etc. So, Jess has actually just found somebody on Facebook Marketplace selling five of these like really cheap for 50 quid. So we're gonna go and have a look because they're just up the road to see if they're in better condition than these doors, it will save us about six to 10 hours per door, sanding and painting it. And sometimes I think that is just worth it. But the builder was just telling me that we have to be careful that, why does my phone keep lighting up? That the hinges ooh, are all in the same place and 
all the rest of it otherwise it's just a lot of work so we're just measuring these doors to make sure they're the right size doors and then we're just gonna go and have a look at them if they're in better condition we'll try and figure out how we essentially pick them up and buy them <laughs> Happy Friday everyone! Today is Good Friday and we are at the end. Oh, sorry, I've got a, I've got a chipped nail that got caught in my hair. We're actually at the end of renovation week two. Wow, look at the mess behind me. We're currently in the flat, we're running very late. We're about to leave to go to the house and hopefully the builder's still there. They're not really allowed to work at bank holidays but he said he's gonna pop in this morning to do some quieter work. So hopefully he's still there and then we can just see what he's done. Um, I haven't really shown you anything, I don't think, of this week so far in this video because every time I've been, I think the builders have been there. No, maybe I have shown you stuff. I really can't remember. But anyway, I will, take you to the house with me now. My aunt's meeting us there because she wanted to come and see the house and we're now allowed to meet people. It's very exciting. So she's gonna come and see the house and yeah, I will show you around and show you what they've done because it has changed so much. Like it is so different to last week. They've done so much already. We're very impressed. And yes, I'm still living in a house full of junk. We, these are all of my dad's and my uncle's tools that we had to bring back from the house because we didn't want the builders to think they were theirs and accidentally take them because they are not even ours. So yeah, we haven't been to the house every day this week. Um, we've been every other day. So we were there last night with my aunt who wanted to see the house. And so I didn't vlog then, but it looks very different. Just from like the two days prior to that when we were at the house, it looks so different. And they've pulled up a lot of like the original flooring um, to do new pipe work, right? For new copper pipes for the radiators. And yeah, there's been a lot of changes. There's huge holes in the floor. You can't even walk all the way around the house. And there's huge holes in the ceiling. It's getting there slowly. And are you happy with the progress so far, Jess? Yeah, going all right, yeah. Progress. Yeah, um, we just hope that it um, happens quickly, right? We hope that they keep up with the speed. Yeah, the big stuff's been working. Yeah, yeah, we just want the, the major structural mm. work hasn't started yet. So no, but hopefully one. next week or the week after, we're really hoping. I think that's when everything will. That's the only thing that's delaying it. So mm. yeah, I mean that's a whole other video in itself. I think like party wall agreements and getting party wall surveyors and there's been a lot of drama but I think it's going the way we wanted it to go so far so yeah if you guys want to know more about that I can film a video because I've learned a lot throughout this process stuff that even most of our family didn't know because no one's done a renovation of this scale before and it's been very interesting yeah I learned something on the way as well yeah it's interesting it's actually really funny because my videos haven't been going up in real time so they're probably about three four weeks behind at the moment and when i was watching my first vlog where we got the keys and i was like we were just so naive like things we were saying <laughs> we were like oh we don't think we need to replaster this wall yes we do and we were like mm, we have no idea how to rip out wardrobes we are pros at ripping stuff out now aren't we just yeah. And it is amazing just how much stuff you pick up along the way just by either just doing it or speaking to loads of different builders and just just even family just giving us like loads of advice and like you think it's not going to be helpful but then somebody else will mention it and then it'll put it into context and you're like oh my god yes somebody else told me this and like it's just incredible how much you learn along the way isn't it mm. but anyway we're gonna go to the house now and i will show you around when we get there I'm sorry if this is repetitive because I really can't remember what I filmed, but this is our hallway. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? There's all these holes in the floor and I can't actually walk through because there. <laughs> Just and my aunt are up there. I wonder if, no. And this, oh the living room not much has changed in here actually since I last filmed apart from these um apart from these holes in the floor yeah. 
crazy how big this space is now this airing cupboard is gone I mean we always knew it was going to go and it would open up the space but we've just got so much more storage that is literally one and a half wardrobes worth of space it's going to be great not sure what's going on here oh my god it looks like a volcano has erupted with all this like ash but yeah these were my two double sockets that I'd asked for and there's a hole going through to next door I just love seeing stuff like this. Today is Saturday the 3rd of April. It's actually Easter bank holiday weekend, but the builder called me this morning um, to say that he's working at the house and the electrician is round and I have to make a decision if I want spotlights in the bedroom or not today. And I wasn't really prepared for that. In fact, me and Jasper were just getting ready to leave because we were going to go to the house anyway to try and catch the builder while he was there just to discuss a couple of things. And, and so I think we've decided against spotlights. I posted it on my Instagram story, I messaged everyone I know that has or doesn't have them just to find out the pros and cons and I just think they're going to look too stark in a bedroom. Like spotlights are just I think far too modern for the vibe that we're going with and they'll be nice in the kitchen diner where you need light to see what you're chopping or eating and stuff. But in a bedroom you don't need that super bright light so I think we've decided against those but I thought I'd just come on here and show you my super technical drawings that I've been working on. <laughs> They're obviously not that technical but my um my A-level maths came in very handy for this so let me just flip the camera around and show you and also I think I always say this but ignore this mess like we've packed a few boxes there's loads of empty boxes and we are just living in a flat that's just very messy at the moment because we just don't have time because obviously we're hoping to move very soon and we've just piled stuff up in that corner but anyway let me flip the camera around and show you so here we go these are my super technical drawings this is our master bedroom in the house there's currently a chimney breast here which makes it really annoying to measure things in person because you obviously can't go straight through that chimney breast will be going our bed will be up against this wall but because this bedroom is a weird shape it's not a proper rectangle the door to the bedroom is at an angle i've kind of sectioned this part of the room off so let's just ignore that's not there and then i measured the width of the room from this wall to this where i've sectioned it off because i want the bed to be centered to this wall where the wardrobes are probably going to go one day in the future um that's the plan anyway so from that i got that the middle of the room is 153 centimeters because i halved that so i got the width of our bed it's a brand new bed we haven't even like assembled it yet but that's not going in this bedroom but it'll be the same size hopefully so for a king size bed it's 167 centimeters wide and then i figured i found a really helpful blog post so actually i will link that down in the description box because that really helped me out but i found the correct height for wall lights to go so we're going to have wall lights either side of the bed, obviously on this wall, but I can't draw in 3D. And directly underneath the wall lights, we're going to have a light switch for the wall light. And then we're going to have USB plug sockets. But when, when they um, do the electrics, which is I think they're starting on it today, I want them to be exactly in one line, just so that it looks aesthetically pleasing. And I mean, yeah, sure, the um, plug sockets may get covered by bedside tables. That's not a big deal. But... I know it's there and I'm a perfectionist and I notice all these little details, especially if it's my own house and I want things to be perfect. So I've literally measured it all out for them. So I figured that the distance either side of the bed, obviously we'll have to put the bed so it's perfectly in the centre, <laughs> but um, the distance is, it's about 69.9 centimetres, but I'm calling it 70. Let's just go with that. And we want the wall light 25 centimeters away from the bed in fact you can see it there and so that means it's 45 from this wall and it would be 45 from here but this is not actually a wall so i'm you know including this little bit of the room as well so he knows how to measure and where to put it so that will mean that hopefully once our bed is in and the chimney breast is obviously gone the wall lights will be exactly 25 centimeters away from either side of the bed and i've also accounted for so a king size bed here you can see is a 167 wide a super king is 20 centimeters more which means 
sorry, I'm going back to this, which means 10 centimetres on either side. So even if we do get a super king size bed, um, if we can fit it in this way, I don't know, then the wall light will still be 15 centimetres away from the bed on either side. So it's not, the bed isn't covering the wall light. I hope that makes sense. And then I found a really helpful blog post that, I mean, this is me working it out because it gave you rough sort of measurements, but we have established that we want the wall light one and a half meters from the floor and the light switch about a meter from the floor so that when we're sat in bed, we can reach it. Um, and that's also the 25 centimeters so that I can reach it because I have shorter arms than Jess. <laughs> and then USB sockets directly underneath. I mean, I know it sounds super complicated and it, it kind of is, but I love geeking out over stuff like this and it was really fun to do and I love doing the little drawings. So I hope the builder and the electrician appreciate them, but we're going to go to the house in a couple of hours because the electrician was there all day, but the builder had to pop out. So he'll be back at four o'clock. So we're going to go in a couple of hours when they're both there. And I don't know if he needs this today, but what I've been doing is just like doing like, you know, my little drawing and I've also written out instructions for him on the back of an envelope i'm just going to stick them to the walls in the right places because that way if i tell him stuff in person he might forget because obviously he's also really busy and i forget what i've told him or what i've told jas or i've asked other people about so i just want to make sure they just do it and there's no miscommunication and that's just the easiest way of doing it is sticking stuff to the walls and yeah that's basically all we're doing today imagine if i just tripped and fell in there i'd probably break my ankle wouldn't i <laughs> there's all this stuff here and the kitchen which i can't currently walk through it's got a huge drop that is a massive drop all the way through the house like so. <laughs> just, <laughs> we were stood in the garden talking to the electrician and Jas just stepped in some cat poos. He's been cleaning his shoe. Oh yeah. <laughs> so funny. Anyway. Oh, let me come outside and show you the garden in its current state. And then this is the garage. I'll take you upstairs to see the garage roof properly out the top window because you can't really see it here. But it, oh, there we go, you can see it. It looks very smart indeed. I'm so grossed out right now. <laughs> On Wednesday, our builder texts us to say, don't come to the house tonight because there's been an incident with your toilet and about five laughing emojis. <laughs> and we were like, what? So I sent him like three shocked emojis. This is how we communicate. And I was like, what happened? And he just didn't say. And then Jas said, we're in a group chat, the three of us on WhatsApp. And then, and then Jas said, well, as long as the place isn't flooded, it's all good, ha ha. And he was like, it isn't anymore, ha ha ha. And we were like, what? And ever since then, I just, oh, I just can't. I'm really glad that my uncle lives like a five minute drive away because I need to pee. I'm not yeah. sure that I can wait the 30 minute drive home. I'm just gonna have to go pee at their house. It's a good thing they have like six toilets in that house actually. <laughs> it's very handy for people like me when they're probably trying to socially distance. Um, I'm gonna show you something really disgusting and <laughs> I don't know why I'm showing this on camera, but it's just, this, this just grosses me out even more, okay? So, the previous owners of the house, they had like a white bath mat and one of those awful like toilet mats, those disgusting U-shaped things that go around the base of a toilet and they're white. When the <laughs> builders first started, I think they thought that they belonged to us. They folded them all up neatly, left them on the bath, and I was like, mm, must remember to put them in the bin, they're not ours, we don't want them. And ever since this toilet incident on Wednesday, they're like brown. Oh, yeah. They're so horrible. Oh, it is, but I just can't, I just can't. It's just grosses me oh, out well, it is. so much. And no, there's a reason why I haven't shown you guys the bathroom yet, because I just don't like the bathroom at all, but it's just one room that we're not touching yet. I'm not going to show you the whole garden, but do you remember our moss infested 
extension roof. <laughs> They've obviously taken all the dirty, mouldy bits off and they're going to be redoing this sometime soon. And then, can you see our garage? It's just there. It's very hard to see, but in person it looks better. It's got a brand new roof and the roof is also one height. It was kind of at a weird angle, so they've raised the height of it at the back. Also, I've just noticed actually, this is something I didn't notice the other day, he's found the exact same colour bricks. And so you can't even tell which bits are new and which are not. Just there. It's amazing. Anyway. Oh wow, I completely forgot they pulled up the carpet in this tiny bedroom as well. Wow. I mean, this carpet obviously needed to go. It was awful. I love how they've left these carpet grips. These took just forever to get rid of on the other carpets. They're a nightmare. But I'm just going to go around now and just check that they've put the plug sockets everywhere where I marked for them to put plug sockets, if that makes sense. Because I've seen that they've put one here, but they've forgotten about this one on this wall where that X is. So I need to then take a photo and message the builder or the electrician or somebody. I'm gonna wrap this video up here and I will start a new one in three days time because it's bank holiday for renovation week three. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this. If you have any questions or any helpful advice, then please leave them down below in the comments because they really help me out. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week with another renovation video. Bye.